Well, good morning to everybody. How are you doing? I want to show you something that I'm doing now with Spark Aligners. And I want to show you the way I'm going to solve uh, a severe class 3 um, with elastics. And, well, maybe I will put a screws later, but it's not in my plan to put a screws. Let me see if it's recording. Yeah, okay. So we can check the picture first. Okay, as you can see, the, the anterior cross bite in the basin. Okay, a severe anterior cross bite and also posterior in the left side. As you can see, the, the huge severe engagement in class 3. Look at the molars totally in class 3. And here also, as you can see on the other side, okay, the class 3 that we have. The arches where the upper is a little bit narrow. Okay, so well, my treatment plan, as you can see here, I have the wisdom teeth. Okay, and I'm going to do the extraction of the wisdom teeth. Okay, so in a liner three, I'm going to do a liner one, two. And three, I do the extraction of the wisdom teeth, and then I start with the lower molar distalization every four aligners. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The key point here is to do some compression of the seven. As you can see, I'm I'm distalizing and rotating distal in a little bit, okay, and not moving more than three posterior teeth at the same time. Okay, this is what I'm doing, okay. And uh, you can check here, like in a line one and two, and then I start. Okay. There are some mistakes that I'm going to tell you what I'm going to modify now. Okay. The other side, if you want to check, is the same. A line one and two, nothing, and then. Okay, fantastic. So, what is the mistake that I can see here? Look. We have the lower speed curve that is increased. Uh, I need to change the torque to a positive torque and I need to reduce the, the, lower, the lower speed curve. Okay, but what happened? The, we have a, a, a posterior, uh, sorry, an anterior um, cross bite. And as you can see here, what happened? Look at the torque in the upper arch. Pay attention. So they are just increasing a little bit, but the torque is still negative or too straight. Okay, so what happened when you will retrude? You're going to retrocline the teeth. So this is a mistake. Something that you need to do is to move from here. I'm going to saturate, okay? But I'm going to, just to show you, okay? I want to increase a little to here. Okay? Uh, okay? Like there. Uh, can you see it? Okay, so what I'm doing is increasing. Okay, so this is what I'm going to tell them to procline to about not to this position. I want to procline to this final position. Okay, and so I continue with that. Okay, so the idea, okay, is that we need more torque. Okay, so I'm going to tell them to increase. So while they are expanding, okay, they, I want to increase to much more torque. The other thing that I want to change here is about the compression of the seven. Okay, as you can see, they are not doing compression of the seven, and we need this compression, okay, because at the same time that they change the com the I, I, I expand, you know, that if you expand, you will tend to retreat the incisors. And the thing that we want at the beginning is, is to create a positive overjet. So we need a vector in the arch that can help me to push the incisors. Okay? And that's why what I'm going to do is to compress. Okay? To compress the seven. Something that also I'm going to tell them something about this okay so I want to I'm, I'm going to tell them to 
okay, to rotate and move inside. The same with this one. Rotate and move inside. Okay. Also, I will increase the buckle root torque at the same time a little bit. Also, I want to increase a little bit the rotation of this six. And also, I want to increase the buckle root torque. Okay. For anchorage, I, in cases like this, I prefer to put uh, some vertical attachments in lateral incisors. Okay, just for anchorage here and here okay in order not to lose the control okay this attachment we can move it and we can reduce the size of this cut a little bit so we can center a little more this one okay because if you put this attachment here the patient is going to bite too strong and this one you can reduce the size to two millimeters. Okay. I right hear. This one is for anchorage. You can reduce the size. Will be more comfortable for the patient. Even you can change the direction a little bit. Okay, and the same with this one. And you can change the direction a little bit. Okay, so this is the idea to move from here to here, where we need to increase the torque. The sequence of the distalization is fine. Every four aligners. And remember that the basin we use class 3 elastics okay so this protocol if you want to do the same for a class 2 in the upper arch you will do the same uh, distalization but in the in the in the upper arch okay so whoops let me show you my face well these are I always say this protocol were fantastic and remember a tip that when you distalize the basin has to use always class 3 elastics. I use between 5 16 and 4.5 4 ohms or 6 all day, not only night time. The elastics only night time don't, doesn't work and, and we need the, the elastic for anchorage. So they have to use it all day. Since you put the attachments, I want the attachment on air 3 and well motivation 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 to the patient okay so remember protocols are everything check what the technician sent to you modify the times that you need to modify until you see an approver that you fall in love with it this is the approver that will work okay have a good day